In 2018, the city of Glasgow, Scotland commemorated 150 years since an innovative native designer, Charles Rennie Mackintosh, was born. Mackintosh, the father of the Glasgow style, was an artist and an architect who came up with revolutionary ideas. Mackintosh was fourth of eleven children and at the young age was drawn to nature as a way to escape his crowded household. When he was 15, he began night classes at the Glasgow School of Art, and he soon became an apprentice draftsman of an architecture firm. There he learned about the architecture of the past by sketching and taking measured drawings. In the late 19th century, Glasgow was the center of industrial activity. Consequently, there were opportunities for a young designer like Macintosh to encounter other cultures and ideas. At the time, the opening of Japan to foreigners brought new design influences as the Japanese forged links to the industries in Glasgow. In addition, the Japanese presented the city with ceramics, textiles, letters, timbers, and raw silk that illustrated Japanese simplicity, geometry, and nature. Another influence on designers at the time was symbolism and the Art Nouveau movement. Macintosh became associated with members of the Vienna Succession. Another influence was Tawin Morris, a designer who created a journal called The Studio Magazine in England. After relocating to Glasgow, he became friends with members of the Glasgow School and its linear dial affected their design. Finally, there was a mystical Scottish traditional form. At Glasgow Art School, Macintosh became friends with another night school student, James Herbert McNear. In 1893, the McNear and Macintosh met Margaret and Frances MacDonald, whose work related to their own. They formed a group called the Immortals, and were later referred to as the Glasgow Four. The Immortals produced a magazine and exhibited together. Macintosh worked on many different types of designs, and his style evolved from two to three dimensions. His paintings such as the Harvest Moon shows the influences of symbolism. His graphic design projects included theater programs such as a poster advertising, the Scottish Musical Review. The poster for the Musical Review shows the way that Macintosh abstracted forms. As an architect, Macintosh left the mark on Glasgow with innovative residential and commercial designs. One major commission was Glasgow Herald Newspaper Building. He also designed two schools, including the Romantic Martels Public School. His stylization of nature is evident in his Queen's Cross Church. And it has decorative carvings of seeds, plants, and birds. During this time, his masterwork was the Library of the Glasgow Art School which showed the influence of Japanese domestic interiors in his timbering. With his style, such projects shows his immense levels of creativity. In 1901, he entered a German competition for the House for the Art Lover, which it is an example of a philosophy of total artwork, in which fine art and applied arts mesh, such as can be seen in the design of music room. Other commissions included the 1902 Windy Hill and the 1904 Hill House illustrated the philosophy with simple, modular construction and carefully planned out interiors that are full of light. For his interiors, Macintosh created many murals and stencils. He designed such murals and furnishings for tea rooms, which were fashionable at the time, including the Buchanan Street Tea Room that shows Japanese and Art Nouveau influences. This Ingram Street Tea Room likewise illustrates how he adapted the Oriental influence to modern design. These designs display the significance of squares as seeing an innovative way that he used in grids and cubes. Although Macintosh did not receive many commissions after 1913, his Glasgow style left a lasting design legacy. Macintosh's innovative designs, a synthesis, and refinement of a number of different influences left an imprint on his city and influenced other groups of designers. Recent exhibitions to commemorate the, the birth of this pioneer 
of modern design indicate that his work is relevant in the 21st century.